And we're here. We're back. Another episode of Bonded with Boogie. For sure. With a precious perspective. For sure. And per usual, I'm here. Boogie. Mm-hmm. A.K.A. him. Him with thee. Okay. Him for knee. Him the G. Him who doesn't hide. Him who seeks. Mm. Him with the shortest arms. Him still with the longest reach. And, of course, your boy Precious with a precious perspective. And we back. And we are back. How you been, my brother? <sighs> well, swell. And all that good old stuff. At least Except that's what they tell. <sighs> hey, straight like that. For sure. So today, we will be getting into... The grits and the glory of this shit. And I'm going to have Precious the Philosopher break down exactly what I mean by that when it comes to what we're speaking on in the um, poetry world. For sure, for sure. And so, and, and coming into that, one thing that I enjoy most about poetry is like a lot of times the ride that it takes you on. In regards to a person's perspective, you know what I'm saying? Like that journey of clarity that you're able to see through that person's words. I feel like a lot of times poetry is an auditory thing, but the real dope artists, the real dope spoken word artists really make you visualize their words. For sure. You feel me? Like, and it's like You visualize my words? We're gonna get into that. Okay. We're gonna get into that. And it's be jumping the gun. But For sure. With that, understanding that with that ability to draw those pictures, we find ourselves honestly in a space to where, like I said, like these words are doing things that, you know, we we rely on our eyes to do. And I feel like that's something that's so dope. And so uh, that idea of grits to glory really coming from where people speak from resilience, where people speak from identifying who they are, where they stand, what they about at the end of the day. And so you ask the question. Make a stamp basically on, you know. Yeah, yeah. And you ask the question, uh, if I see your words. And so for you in particular, and coming into this, this episode, I have two pieces in particular that I want to kind of, we, we hear them, but we're going to break down the science of them tonight. So sure. I'm kind of like, I'm interested in that because I feel like they both in their own creative ways talk about that resilience. And one of those pieces being that intro, him, and then another one being monster. And so understanding, like I said, that idea of resilience, I hear you talk a lot about how getting back into it him like you'll get back in peace yeah him was him him means a lot to me fact you know what i'm saying because him was uh it was the first poem that i i think the last poems i was writing was like on some lover boy shit for like for the hoes but that was years ago it's crazy i used to recycle the same poem for bitches i told him i did poetry and i used to <laughs> recycle the same poem that i wrote and send it to the same bitches and um I'm not, I guess I'm not even, I'm I'm different from that. I don't even write that about that type of shit no more, Facts. which not, I need to because I will, but no, nah, I'm not, I guess I'm not in that state anymore. Facts. But um, him was really a, shout out to Terry Roseland Podcast, FC Network's finest. Um, Shout out to him. It was just really a, I don't, and it's crazy because I'm not a, trying to impress anybody type of nigga. But it was more so Terry mentioning like a spoken word little event. And I was like, he said he was going. And I think it was an opportunity for me to be like, oh, nigga, watch this. So I told him I was going. And um, I think I knew maybe like a week in advance. So maybe it was even like two weeks in advance. But it was some... It, 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 I had already said I was going to start back writing. It was going to surprise niggas. You feel me? So... Terry, um, he told me about the event, and I start writing. I used to be on the bike, exercising and shit, and you know I get writer's block a lot. I wouldn't call it writer's block. I'll be more honest. So I'm just lazy, you know what I'm saying? 
I, I think about two, I, I, I guess I'll call them bars, two lines. And I won't touch my notepad and my phone for another four to five days. But I guess I'm, but when it comes to poetry, though, I'm, I'm good under pressure, I guess I could say. Meaning like if you told me I had to do a poem a month ago or write something a month ago and the event was today, I could finish it today. And it'd probably be better than half the niggas who actually worked on that shit. That whole month. And that's real life. That's the facts. That's the truth. I've done it. That shit's real. And that's what him was. Him was um something I had to start writing on my own. Terry mentioned the the slam or the the, the spoken word event. And um some of it was already written. And every day I would work out, I would get on the bike, you know, about a mile, two, three miles, and I, you know, just jot down, jot down for days and days. And of course, me being like I say, the nigga that I am, I didn't finish it until it was time for right. the shit. I mean, it was finished already. I mean, yeah, but, but the last, last finish it touches yeah. the ends and that. So yeah. what him was was him was um him was the beginning of me and up until who I am now. And that means with even with poetry or spoken word from jump, I've been him in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like and I like I say, I'm not toot my own horn, but I've just been, it's natural. It's a God's gift. I could do it for real. I could do it for fake. And I'll probably be probably one of the best niggas you've ever heard. Whether if I'm playing or whether if I'm for real. And I, like I say, I'm not. This is just, I've proven this. You know what I'm saying? So, him was, it was a reminder to myself. And like I said, it was him when I was doing this shit early in life. When I was... Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade freestyle battling with Brianna Hart and Quincy, and up until him now as a grown man. I mean, like him the G nigga. That's I'm a I, I live a G lifestyle. When I when I mean G lifestyle, I don't just mean a gangster lifestyle, but I mean I move as a G with everything. I try to be play about everything. I I'm gangster about life. Meaning like I know this shit come. I know this shit go. Um, I know, I know people not going to look at me as the best person. Some people might look at me as the best. Like, I, I didn't figure, I figured out how this shit go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether if it seemed like I got to figure it out or not, I know what it is. You feel me? So that's just how I move. Um, through work, through everything. I move like it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's going to be at the end of the day. It's going to be what it's going to be at the end of the day. And I'm going to move like that just because that's the best way I feel moving. So him was him was me. Him was everything that I am. Him was a person that fell. Him was a person that rose. Him was a through these words and verbs and shot ways down to your head to toes. Nigga, when I said it, that's what it did for you. I mean, it did that to people. I, mean, I know it did. Because when I, mean, I said it, I felt it. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Static that's shot. exactly what it did. You won't deny me anything that's other than me. that. For you sure. know what I'm saying? For sure. So him was um him was him was who him was Boogie Yogoon. Him was who I am. Who him was and, Yeah, but the, no, him was like I said, and it, like I said. And I appreciate, um, like I said, I appreciate Terry. Um, I appreciate whatever, the event that we were at, you know what I'm saying? Because, and that's how I know I'm, I be on bullshit because I did that to be the best nigga there. I wrote that to be the best nigga there. Like when Terry told me, it was, it was like, okay, I'm going to show Terry that I do this shit for real. But it was more so like, let me see if I still got it. Because I haven't, that was the first spoken word I did. In years plus years, plus double digit, damn near a decade. Of the uh, the yeah. other than speaking at funerals that we had, or yeah, like yeah, that it. was the family events. That was the first thing I did amongst people who I felt like should have been trying to kill. You know what I'm saying? Because when I'm out there, I'm trying to take niggas' heads off. And if you're not out here trying to take niggas' heads off, I'm always be better than you in this shit. Whether I'm doing it for fake or fun, because whether I did it for fake or fun, and I'm playing, I'm here to take your fucking head off. So, hey. You know what I'm saying? So that was my first time doing it. And I took niggas' heads off. It was other people there who were, but because the, the open mic thing, you know how they be. It be comedy. It be, so it was rappers. It was um, music, musicians, and it was some spoken word. And I felt at the end of the night, other than maybe two other people, I feel like I was the best. It was a a, a chick who had some little R&B type shit going on. She was dope. And it was a one rap 
dude in there. And I think I saw this same rap dude again. And this, this is why the, the open mics and shit are so important to the community. We were like up north somewhere. I saw him again in Hyde Park performing yes. again. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I, I You know what I'm saying? So like, that's why that shit's important because that's yeah. how niggas get on. That's how niggas yeah. get seen. And that's how, and even if you just a local legend, I mean, people I mean, know yeah, you. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but like I said, so I didn't mean to get off and all nah, that. You but, out. That's that's the point, G. That's, yeah. I feel like that's, that's the point of that, what we talking about, that grit to glory. Because like you said, uh, him was them to like a transformative piece. You really took people on a journey of you and then that invoked emotion amongst themselves. Cause sometimes motherfuckers go through similar shit. So they feel like, damn, like I need these words. I need these affirmations. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think that's really what that, that, Peace is it stands in affirmation, yeah. and I felt like when I wrote that it was for him, it was for him it was for the him and you, you feel yeah. me? It was it was for me for sure. It was me, but I feel like like I said, we all fell, we all rose, we all went through some shit. We all sometimes didn't feel like him, and you had to become him to get through whatever the fuck you was going through. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's him is my baby. You know what I'm saying? Like I love him. Like that's that's me. I love myself. Thanks. So that's that's something like that might be like to to me in my eyes, and I've heard different, but that's probably some of the best shit I've ever wrote. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I and it's crazy. I haven't wrote. Uh, you know, I used to have a notebook writing a lot, but as far as open word back then, I was that was rap. Thanks. Spoken mic shit. I guess I just made it's damn near rap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some form of you know. Yeah. But I haven't written too much poetry right. you know what i'm saying i haven't written like i it's a natural god's gift right. to kill you on arrival or to be to be this nigga on arrival like this is so and i'm happy like i said terry and not necessarily inspire me but he opened up the opportunity for me to understand that like damn this is probably what i should be doing especially in the day and age that we live in where like everybody's doing what they feel they should be doing or what they want to do. And I've always been a want to do nigga. And that's, I think the thing with poetry is I didn't want to do it. I was just good at it. You know how niggas hoop and they don't really want to hoop, but nigga, you got the height and you can hoop. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like you got to hoop, but I don't want to hoop though. You feel me? Poetry was something I didn't want to do. It was something if you asked me to do, I'll come out and I'll put up 40 and leave, and you might not never see me for seven other seasons. Right. And I'm gonna come out and give your ass forty again, and I'm gone for until next year. Like so, like I said, poetry is like I said, it's like I said, him was him was him was deep to me. You know what right. I'm saying? It is. I feel like again that shit when when any and everybody here, it kind of moves them in the same space. And so I ask, like, what allows you? to be that transparent and like I think because a lot of times you find that like when you go to it pay attention at the gallery bro like when you see the people who be sitting in the crowd like oh I don't even really do this da, 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 da. and then they get up there and smoke shit or they get up there and just you know what I'm saying like really start just talking whatever what allows you to kind of be there and present with the people that you sharing your words with because you understand it, like you said, this is a journey for you. And you know, some people be real private, sh whatever about their sure. shit. You like, know, you know me. Facts. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But for you, the people. Yeah, the people. yeah. You know me. Um, I'm a people person. Facts. I've never been scared to read a lot aloud. I've never been, Facts. I'm a comedian. If you want me to be a comedian, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, not even want to, naturally. This shit natural. It's it's it might be your mother. She, I feel like we're a lot the same. You know what I'm saying? We, she's a sociable individual. That's a fact. She could be for sure be funny at times. Sure. She's an outspoken person. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's a that's a part of me, and that's why I feel like this was like I said. Even if I didn't want to do this, it's what I should be doing. You know what I'm saying? How they say God gives you a gift. This is God's gift, and God, you know, He may be speaking through me. People are probably supposed to hear me. You know what I'm saying? Whether it took that they heard me back then and it's it's fluctuating more now you know what i'm saying so like i said i'm just 
I'm just the type of person that, and like I say, I'm competitive with it as well. So when I do hear people, it amps me up because nice. like, and not to discredit anybody, in my head, I'm talking about you. If you were cold, you'll know you was cold because I'm the type of nigga who know cold people and I, you feel me? So I'm clapping. I'm, if you was weak, I'll clap. But in my head, I'm like, that shit was trash. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to be disrespectful. Right, so yeah, you yeah, feel me? So, so hard, like yeah. I said, but it, it, both of those at me up knowing that you were just trash <laughs> and I'm going on next and we could get the trash out of the way and knowing that you were just fire. But I'm about to die line some shit right after. Yeah, yeah. die line, die line two times. You was die line once, I was die line twice. Facts. Literally. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I, and I, I ain't gonna stunt, bro. I will say that, like, so. And that's what, and that's what <clears throat> you could have the coldest piece. But if you Talk not, about it. if you not a part of your piece, if you not into your piece, if you not, I could get up there and say the weakest shit. <laughs> and as long as I'm feeling better than you and look oh, better than you oh, doing me, it and, hey. and, and, and acting better than you and I'm confident <laughs> and I'm and I'm hey. confident. Oh, you just made me yeah, think about this video. And I'm, and I'm confident. You know what I'm saying? It's your poem plus presentation at that time plus mm-hmm. crowd interaction plus you 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 carrying yourself differently. You know what I'm saying? It we seen people make it, and they could be weak people, weak hearted people, weak. They they could be just weak in individuals, but they carry themselves at a at a point to where they don't believe that you're not gonna tell me that. I don't care what you're talking about. I mean, and they prevail because. The confidence, the the way in which they walk, the way in which they talk, the way in yeah. which they they pride themselves on who they are. Yeah, their perception of life and their perception. You know of what I'm the saying? World. So, with that being said, I feel like my poetry be like at an eight. I feel like I make the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the rest of it is me. I feel like it'd be bars, but I feel like it's just the fact that I can get up there mm. and look you in your eye, and not even look you in your ass, because when you're really feeling that shit, your ass is closed. Yeah. My ass be closed. Oh, when I'm really feeling that shit, my ass oh, is closed. You, you know what I'm saying? But whether I'm looking at it, jotting, you know, reading it off of, you know, some new shit that I don't know, that I haven't uh, memorized, I'm still the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm I'm not into it as was if my eyes was closed then, but I'm still, and even if I make mistakes trying to read it, I, I still feel like I'm better than everybody else. I still feel like I'm, right. so that's something that it's like I say, with certain things are what you are confident in. Like I said, right. you, you, you do photography, you do, so I would hope in confidence that you feel like you the best nigga doing it. You know what I'm saying? And look up to who you look up to. And you don't take notes and quotes from whoever you get them from. But I feel like if you think if you found something that you loved and you do it, your hobby or what or something that you're passionate about, hold it to the standard of that that's that's what you're supposed to be doing. And I'm the best person doing this. I don't care what nobody thinks. And like I said, it, it I feel like it gets you a long way. No, that's a fact. That's like showing up as yourself, like is really half the, the and that is like you said, more it's it's plays a deep role into how you get your pieces off. And I think for me, that's something that presence was I'm not gonna say it was a lack thereof, but like I'm real like laid back. Again, you know me, fuck you talking about I'd be real put up. Whatever type shit. So it's like to speak in front of people has always been like easy, natural, whatever. But like, you know, I ain't really going out my way to start no conversations type sure. shit. Like, you know, I'll start them, finish yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. All That's that shit. Thing. Like, but the gallery, I think, really has allowed me to delve more into that bag of like, hey, direct some shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I usually like to go with the flow of shit. You know what I'm saying? I see how shit move around me and I get in where I fit in type shit more so than coming in and just re-navigating somebody's shit. And so to be in that space of like speaking transformatively in your spoken word, you know what I'm saying? In, in that art, like you said, like a mother, and that be the thing about like rapping and all that shit. The best of these niggas' verses or whatever the fuck, some it it don't even be real to them, but they can make it real because it's acting. Because like you say, it's presentation. It's damn that how a motherfucker can get you into that character. So I'm gonna ask you for again, like you say, it's natural. That's that's how you are, how you it's whatever. Me. But it's in me, not on me. Pause. <laughs> hey, not, <laughs> that's a fact though. And understanding that for somebody who I guess is looking to maybe gain more stage presence or confidence, like where would you say you you pull that from or this get is, that from? Um, I, with for people that's looking to gain it, I feel like um you got to be like Eminem and Eight Mile. <laughs> You gotta be in the bathroom practicing your shit. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta build yourself. And building your, and, you know what I'm saying? And building yourself is brick by brick. So, nigga, you gotta, like I said, get in the bathroom, recite your lines, look at yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Memorize your shit. You know, especially if you're not natural at it. If you're not, if this is not something that you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, you gotta not. You gotta you gotta get your you gotta clear your mind and not Man. care about what you know what I'm saying? Like like I said, that's something within you that Man. you gotta work on. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I can, I'm giving all the best advice I can because I don't have to do that. Meaning like any given time you put me on the spot to do that shit, I'll get up there and do that shit. And it could be a million people in the that shit don't phase me Facts. when I'm doing poetry. You know what I'm saying? You know like showing up is you. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm and saying? I'm the only person that matters. Out of a million people, I'm the only person that matters because y'all listening to me right now. Me. You know what I'm saying? Me. So I've never been, like I said, like I said, that's word to mother. <laughs> I've never been like, I guess it just her having the techniques that she had with us, as far as just having us read, it's just far in us, and it's just far as like who she is. And you know, all your kids pick up certain attributes. And like I said, she always say all the time, like me and her, I kind of like twins. Yeah, nah, you know what I'm saying. Fact. So yeah, I met you both. She not, she not, she a talk. She a stand up for herself. She a and we, when we, and and like I said, but and she outspoken. So with people like that, you know what I'm saying? Like they not too much shy about too much of Facts. you know what I'm saying. Too much, too many things. I, I like. And I hate to interrupt because you low key going crazy, but yeah. I like what you said about building yourself up. Yeah, you, know you got to build yourself yeah. up. Like I said, we watch we watch people build themselves up since it's like the little ugly chick in grammar school or the little goofy dude in grammar school. Facts. He we went through grammar school. We we made it through high school. You was probably goofy, or you know you you came into your looks. You 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 went to college. You got a good degree, or you you got a good job now, or you doing whatever you doing, and, and you you. You forgot about the old you. You know what I'm saying? And people see the new you. And they remember the old you as well. But people are more concerned about the new than the old. You feel me? So with that being said, like, you got to build yourself up. And when it comes to this poetry shit, you got to forget about the old you. If the old you is shy, scared, and um, especially, like I said, if you want to, and let me not even say it like that. If you want to be an introvert with your work, then do that. If you want to just go to Poetry Slams knowing you got to book a fire, then you do that. But if you if you chosen for this shit, if this shit was meant to be spoken through by you, you're going to get out there. You're going to let the people hear what you're saying. You're going to let the... We, we need you. The people need you. You know what I'm saying? When I go to these open mics and these... The people need me. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't come here because I needed y'all... I came here so y'all could hear me because y'all needed this. When I hear people talk about Chris's mother all the time, him, I told my friend about him. <laughs> I, I, she, I told her she needed to come out and hear him. 
Oh, she be running around calling out. I ain't even to say that. Her. She, uh, she. Shimothy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she, she be out here. She be out here getting that. I'm Shimothy. Hey. I'm Shim. Hey. And I'll be like, slow up on that. Yeah. <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> but, be, but, but with that being said, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Facts. You need me. You need to hear this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming here for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, it's just um, it's a journey that you got to go through on your own, go through with yourself. Like I said, for all the people that need to, all the people that you need to believe in yourself. Yourself, just remember, self is the most important thing. Right. Regardless what people think, regardless what people say that you need to be doing for them, regardless who hates you for moving how you move. Obviously, you doing it for self. You doing it because you think it's it's for better you. And you can't make anything around you better if you're not the better you. Hey, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, become the better you. And you, if you have stage fright or if you, you know what I'm saying, can't overcome, you know, getting up there speaking your words. Like I said, become the better you first. And it might take time. Like I said, I'm not it, I'm not saying that that should happen overnight or Facts. tomorrow. Nah, that's a fact. Becoming, like the, you- becoming the better you might take a while. But once you become the better you, you would do what it do. And that's a fact. I feel like um, before we close out, uh, like I say, I wanted to discuss him as well as Monster in a space where that piece is so... I, I love now like pieces where uh, not only metaphors, but common references you know what i'm saying you spit that whole piece with bars that like you have to have been living under a rock to not know what this nigga's talking about at some point in time for sure and so and it also is a piece in resilience my my favorite bot is uh i'm gonna do it for you right now because why not yeah for sure wait no 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 not right now not right now we'll close that for do your thing We'll use that. We'll use because what I, I'm gonna ask my question These for the new you, listeners who don't know yeah, about yeah, Monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that idea, like I said, of resilience throughout that piece, because you talk about the different versions and the different monsters, monsters in which you that. appear. I did how that. You, I did that. And you know, I'm a short, I'm a short poem nigga now because my memory ain't shit. Yeah, meaning like I. It's a punch. Yeah, it's like I'm not a, trying uh, to get yeah, real yeah, quick. I'm not real finna, I'm not finna t- It's a kick in the glass. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't yeah. got time to be walking you through <laughs> yeah, the yeah, melodies yeah, and the felonies that. and the yeah, yeah. spectrum trees and the yeah. hives and bees. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I, I, I don't got, I'm coming for, I'm coming. Meaning Facts. that could come in two minutes or seven. Facts. You feel me? Facts. And it's, the coming quick, you hear me? And so, before you get into it, before I'm gonna just ask, like, how did you go about just linking all of those things together? Okay, so boom, you know, I was on my, you know, I've been on my workout shit for a while now. You and, know, and so before you even get into that, shout out earlier, you was like, I'm lazy, but I love the fact that a lot of your inspiration and a lot of your writing is done out, while, while you're on the bike while or while you... And I have been on the bike in a shows, while. It I just shows been, yeah. self, real, real self-care. Yeah, you know for what sure, saying? for sure. So um, I think that. I was on the bike and um, like I said, I'm, when it comes to porch, I'm a cocky nigga. I'm a confident nigga. I'm a, I feel like I'm better than you nigga. So I'm a monster is probably pretty much the same thing as him. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the same exactly. Yeah. But it was written, it was written under the same circumstances. Like I'm him, nigga. So these monsters that you guys know of, I'm every one of them niggas too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was my story as well. Facts, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so that's one of my babies as well. Like yeah. I said, them for like I said, those first few pieces you write after coming back. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I, monster was not. I I have shit. That I haven't performed and recorded yet before I wrote Monster. But when I wrote Monster, I knew like, yeah, this, this that, the, yeah, this one yeah, of those. Yeah, yeah. This one of this is one of those. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like- um Monster, I don't know. I I just thought about monsters and I just um 
Like I said, I'm a quick type of dude, so I just put them all together and I just thought about all of them and the horror movies we used to watch as kids. And Thanks. I had to throw the Gremlins in there because the Gremlins was one of my, it. the Gremlins was like a three hour Christmas movie. And it was a hit though. Yeah. Yeah. It was a hit. Great I fucking fuck film. <laughs> Great yeah. fucking film. Man. Yeah. I don't know. It was might have been two, for, having a two hour film at that time was, was crazy. crazy. That bitch was like two world. and 30, yeah. 240. You feel yeah. me? But yeah, so Monster was... Like I said, it's him and Monster. Like, and him is him. Yeah. yeah so yeah, Monster, yeah. like, right there on some, that was him too. But yeah. them I, bars I, and Monster yeah, was crazy. crazy. When I dropped Monster, yeah. niggas was texting my phone. Yeah, yeah. Because like I said, it's it's really a time piece. Like it's really something. Like I said, like you had to be there, and if you were there for the the bars, just hit because you know. At the end of the day, like you said, how all those monsters were coming. So without further ado, I'm going to just get us. We finna jump into the segment. It's so crazy that we're doing this because I was going to ask you about this. I had questions. But without further ado, we're going to get into the first segment of Do Your Thing with one of us doing our thing. So, guys, um, you can follow me on... um Instagram, Boogie, B-O-O-G-I-E, underscore Ogun, O-G-U-N, underscore. Um, Monster is already on the page, but for our new listeners, for people who um, haven't heard it, this is a uh, world premiere right now happening by Boogie Ogun. Mm-hmm. Tune in. Bonded with Boogie with a precious perspective. Let me catch my breath. For sure. <clears throat> I'm a monster. No imposter. I am Freddy Cougar, so you sleeping on me is a problem. I am Mike Myers. I done been shot through the water and fire. Still won't retire. This is Godzilla versus King Kong, balloting out to see who's Rilla. I am Rampage, the wolf, the gator, and gorilla. Mm. This is Alien versus Predator. Trying to see who's better, huh? Trying to see who's living up to measures of killing standards, huh? Mm. I am Jason. While you running away pacing, I'm walking with patience. Because what I realized is about placement. Mm. You didn't ran in the house, locked the door, and went to the basement. For you to turn around, and I'm still the one you facing. And now you faceless. Mm. I'm a gremlin. I seem so nice. Until you fed me, you should have thought twice. Now it's bodies under the Christmas trees and lights. And this ain't no kid or clown shit. But I will walk in any room and pop a balloon because I am it. Mm. Hey, and that's One of that my babies. shit. Yeah. So with that being said, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Bonded with Boogie with a precious perspective. And as we close out, it's Boogie, aka him, him a thee, him for knee, him who doesn't hide, him who seeks. Him with the shortest arms, him still with the longest reach, and of course, my boy. Precious with the perspective. Follow me at Precious Gods on IG, Facebook, P R C I O U S G O D Z. Before we get off of here, tell the people about the art gallery. For sure. Um, Beverly Hills Art Gallery over in the Beverly area, um, right on 95th and Hamilton. We have our open stage and pop-up market this month, September 24th. We do it every month, uh, last Sunday of the month, typically. We open it up to spoken word artists, singers, songwriters, comedians, business owners, those who just want to come through overall. Pop Let their, their voices shit. be heard. You know what I'm saying? Share, share their creativity and share uh, within community more so than anything. The vendors are always dope. The artists always come through and really pop their shit. So 
Hopefully, we're going to see y'all there. And we out. For sure.